Good morning everyone, Chris here with another video. It's another cloudy Sunday here in Minnesota, which means which means football and car detailing. Um, let me center this, there we go. So I am on my way to my parents' house right now to pick up my dad. We're gonna get there a little bit early so we can detail some cars before the game starts. And we have some, you know, some minor chores to do around that place. So that's what today is going to be filled with. I brought my camera, a bunch of snacks and food, and we're going to have a nice cookout like we did last time. Uh, we're going to go pretty hard on Rush's Jeep. He had he bought this new Jeep Compass 2014, and it, you know, like a used car, it's not in the best condition paint-wise. He had Jeep had this rust warranty that basically on the edge of expiration when he bought the car, but they honored it for him. So they repainted or touched up, repainted some parts, touched up others, uh, and got rid of the rust. I hope, hope it didn't just cover it up. But so now that that car is done, it's time for him to perfect it as much as he is uh, wanting to. So I got a bunch of supplies here for him. I got my polishers, we're just gonna leave them there. and. Uh, yeah, so that's that, that's gonna be part of today's agenda. Watch the game, obviously. I'm gonna. This Cayenne is. is it's been a, it's been a couple weeks since this thing's been washed. It's been busy, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that clean. I'm sure Kingston washes. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna be filming some detailing videos today for you all. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Okay, I just dropped my dad off at the toy box here and moved the Viper. I'm gonna pull. Cayenne and God, this place is sweet. All right, let's get to washing. All right, all right, guys, we're going to start the uh, cleanup process. All right, we're gonna rinse her down, and this thing is all clay barred, but I feel a lot of contaminants in it. So I'm gonna, yeah, so I'm gonna rinse it, and I'm gonna 
foam it up and clay bar mitt it. Okay, so what I do, what I do when I dry is I spray this wet coat or some bit of a drying aid on there and I, I just douse the entire car. And then I wipe it all in as I'm drying and then I'll take a second towel to kind of buff that residue out, if that makes sense. We got Rush going to the School of King. <laughs> this car's gonna get the whole, whole spiel. This is Russia's daily driver I was talking about earlier, where it's dirty as hell, but this thing is in pretty tough shape. So we're gonna do our best to bring her back to life. I'm working on drying this guy. I found I found why this side of the car was had some contaminants on the panel. Still a couple there. But look at all this. I must have drove over something. Something sticky because this, this is what was on the on the paint. I think I just couldn't I just couldn't see it. You kind of see something right here. Yeah, it comes off, but it's still. Dang. So whatever I ran over. So I'm gonna rewash this little bit. So I'm gonna just kind of use this little detailing dust brush. I'm gonna uh, like get all the air vents and stuff. All right, got the interior vacuumed out. I'm gonna try, I haven't done this yet, but this new Adams, not new, it's new to me. Adams leather and interior cleaner. So I've been testing out this Adam ceramic coating. This is new stuff that they came out with. It works really well. I'm doing it kind of in the wrong order. You're supposed to do it kind of like what Rush is doing where you have a perfectly like, clean surface. But uh, I got wet coat and top coat on this. So I'm just gonna do a layer of this Adam ceramic right on top of that. So the way you do it, from what I understand, is that you just 
I don't think it takes much. Spray it on your towel. Like one panel at a time. This works kind of like Zaino's CS, I think. Rub it in. I think maybe on the glass too. We'll find out. Let that flash for a bit. I'm gonna go on to the second panel on that flash. Ten dollar Tuesday is about to be your new favorite day of the week. Every Tuesday, get any large pizza or build your own with a Yeah, it's just like Zeno's ECS. Tuesdays will never be the same. Zeno came out with a product similar to this, more concentrated, I feel like. But you can tell because I don't know if you can see my arm hair. Watch. See how it kind of pulls it? Hope that's coming up on film. Anyway, this stuff produces a static. Just like Zeno's ECS. That's probably an excessive amount, but whatever. I always tend to be thorough with my product. Alright, so while that's flashing, I'm gonna go back and remove and buff in this side. God, this stuff, I can just feel it. I don't know if it's, like, a, I'm sure it does a good job when there's nothing else on the paint, or in my case, clear bra, but as I'm buffing this in, I can just feel like it's smoother. So I use this as sort of a, kind of a last step, fine detail, fine detail spray. It really finishes though. It has like a streak free finish also. It really brings in the depth of the paint too, even though it's hitting the clear rock. Yeah, you finding more? Huh? Are you finding more? Yeah, I got it all off by the compass. Second attempt, Shannon. In the backfield. What are you doing? I was above you watching you. You were embarrassed. She's like, I can't. I'm pretty sure I'm using too much right there. Wow. In fact, I know I'm using too much right here. But worst case, I just take another towel and buff it in a little more thoroughly. Oh yeah, the window cleaner works nice. I gotta go over here because I already put it over because that fan is blowing it everywhere. It looks really fine. Yeah, the stuff spreads out nice. <laughs> By that I mean, like, even if you do overspray, like what I've been doing, it just buffs clean. Not like top coat or even bead maker where it, we have like this film or residue. That, that stick around after you buff it off. It's a little bit of overspray got up here, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm using a lot of this stuff. You can see a little overspray came on this windshield just now. And it went away just like that. Probably can't see that on the, on the camera though. Yeah, so I just went to a fresh side of the towel. You just buffer it up.
Do a little thicker on this one. Remember the first half, how those fakes and bootlegs were getting cousins outside. It's kind of clear, took their sight lines to throw the ball. Derek Barnett didn't buy it at all on first down. He got right to face the first cousins, had him rounded inside, so he wouldn't take a sack. I wish I could use the all surfaces too. Maybe like this little plastic right here. First down, second down. They want more yardage. They didn't get it there after the flight shut up. You don't want to sit on your paint by any means. So all that flashes. Yeah, I love having a clear bra on your turn. We got no reason to lie. Pretty positive, like maybe two sprays are really enough for maybe this whole side. Maybe not two sprays, but I'm not doing full, just so you know, you don't complain. I'm not doing full, like, depression of the, of the trigger. It's like fast, which is much better, but. I'm doing an ammo mud. I'm going to coat this back bumper here. Yeah, so I'm get rid of a little bit of residue that was left by top coat. The last coat, whatever that stuff is. Alright. Put some some mud on this little back piece. Here's the current status. King has his caddy all waxed. We got Sir Rush working on his whip. Yeah. Got the Cayenne all clean. Just did the interior. I gotta cold the tires here before I forget. And I'll probably go around and do one more final like detail misting to get rid of stuff like it's gonna show up but like little water droplets. Pick up some of that stuff. Yeah, this car turns out nice. Yeah, and see I got some got some of that I don't know if you can see it, I got some top coat right here. I gotta I gotta work in a little bit more. <clears throat> Here's an update for you quick. We have decided to sell this one at Bear Jackson Scottsdale this year. It's a sweet car. It's like, just like my Camaro. It's about 95% good to go. But there's small things he doesn't like. And I agree. We didn't like this from the start. But those digital gauges are kind of weird. He'd rather have the exhaust come out the side versus the back. And honestly, it's just a, just there's too many, like, there's too much tech into this thing. Like, here, I'll show you. You see that light right there? That little button thing? That's like what you know modern cars have. It's blind spot detection, so it detects a car in the blind spot, which is which is uh, which is cool. But it's just like another thing that doesn't work how it how it how it should. Uh, and then it's like it's a few like small things that just irritating, or like like power steering leaks and you know. Annoying stuff like that. Oh, I dropped it. Vikings are killing it right now. Which is surprising. Uh, you know, so that's the update on that. That'll be going to Bear Jackson Scottsdale here in like three months. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep on plugging away on the Cayenne while Rush is washing his car. I'm gonna help him out here in a bit. Yeah, the toy box. All right, put some tire dressing on here. All right, this is probably my favorite tire dressing. It's the ammo mud that Larry has. 
with this one here, but this stuff just works really well. Thanks nice to thick through a second sling. Gives it a really nice matte finish. Okay. Let's see how nice that looks. Prince case rushes, washed his Jeep. Now we're kind of rinsing it. That was a decon wash that we used. It's kind of like dish soap, where it kind of strips everything. So now as we're drying it, I'm going to have you use Gion Prep. Okay. It's usually done by itself, but we're use it as a drying agent. It's just dousing it out of like one can. This will strip everything that's on it. Yeah, you're gonna see this thrown here. Yeah, yeah. So we to spray that on that panel. Yeah, and the one I just did. I think you got overspray. Let's spray this one. Can I actually get the swirls out? No, this one get the swirls out, but it'll, it'll get all that overspray from when this thing got painted. Oh. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, and it gets rid of like just the top. This is the same thing as that myth that I was using. The half of all dude was like painting it from like scratch. So watch this. Remember those rust spots that were burning your emblem? Yeah. I think they're fixed because this is a, I mean, yeah, it's metal, but I'll show you up here. Let's do a zoom in action. There you go. So what he's talking about is his little, like see the little things in between here? See that one? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, like a magic eraser in a way. Yeah, it actually is. Come spray real quick. Yeah. There's a big one on this, it's kind of a tough spot. Stuff, so, yeah, it's just dirty. Okay, good. You don't want to rub that. Huh? I could. So you just need the clay bar. It's crazy that that actually does that. <laughs> I'm dead serious. That's crazy. Look at this thing right here. Yeah. It's not, it's not like it's on a. It's not like you know. It's like this. Yeah. Like, I can just do that. Gone for all this. I like this right here. It's not like, looks like rust, but it's a little deposit. It's embedded in this clear coat. The polish might even get this out too. Mm. Yeah, that's gone. The one above the edges disappeared. All right, so go around. Um, do the yeah, rag in this. Do the prep. Yeah, the prep. Okay. And then any areas like this, you find we can just come across and see this little thing like that. That you know, might come out. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that's so, that's like a magic eraser yeah. for real. Bring it right here, out of curiosity. You guys probably didn't hear any of that, but we got, I got him doing his kind of clay bar in it a little bit because there's 
some contaminants and the washing was a little rushed I think no pun intended so he's just gonna perfect it just a little bit and then we're gonna focus on these swirls because they're pretty bad uh, we're gonna try polishing some of this I'm gonna start with the most least aggressive so our goal is to get rid of show up you can kind of see it let's focus on me there all right <laughs> you'll see all those scratches right there in, inside right 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 below my pinky so we're going to try to start with that spot and we'll just see how this works so this is sonex perfect finish this might do the job We'll find out. You want to? Okay. All right, let me get this. Just spread real quick and we can move your car. Definitely gonna need some. Where to put that stuff? Oh, we're definitely gonna need some a little more aggressive. Stuff. Definitely better. This is roughly the same area we were looking at before. See, yeah, like little little dimples in there. Focus. See those little dimples compared to. Oh, yeah. Good one. Stuff on white car. See those scratches compared to compared to these. Somewhere here, I can see. Well, it did a pretty good job. What do you think? I think so too, dude. I think it's definitely better. We can go a little bit more aggressive. Let me put this camera down. Take a better look at it. Okay, so Ed's gonna come back. Well, like, I can see through the light. There's little scratches. Remember, I did all this over here too. Yeah. So he wasn't running overlap. What about this speed? Is it about the pressure I told you? Get around the end zones up to lose it. These bridges are probably what made the one kind of goal. It made you lose it. Or not going through. Stuff like this are actual chips. We'll be able to get those out. But I, I just watched that one kind of go away real quick. You can see them. Sure, but you don't have to paint it real hot either. Policy is kind of a kind of an art. 
I hate doing it. That's why I clear by everything. So I would finish up this hood and then wipe it off. Can't do the whole thing. Okay. You don't have to too much pressure too because you see the pads not moving? Yeah. It's not doing anything there. Okay. You want to make sure you have enough pressure. There's too much pressure where, where it doesn't move. I'm not pressure where it rotates. That's what it's actually doing its job when it's rotating. Okay. You see right here, it's going to bind up like that. That's the angle. You got to change your throat. Like that. Otherwise, this is it. It's going to slow down. It's not too much. Yeah, I think you just pull. I think you got to smoke over the edge. Okay. It's kind of complicated too because you have all these angles and stuff to worry about. You want to worry about it this is high enough or low enough. Yeah. Now we got lost again. Oh, she's coming here though? Yeah. Probably have a little ladder on the shirt. Okay. And she's sitting at the corner of my foot. Okay. She's not that far. Let's see if she's going to take her out. So we don't need to wipe this off yet, but I'll show you this. I'll get the camera out. Let us see how. This is your white one? Your white one? Oh, it's over here. Yep. So, if you stand right here, you can see this area that we haven't hit yet. I saw the swirls like right there. Significantly better, like right here compared to up here. <laughs> so, I'll let you go at her. I'll work on your interior here. Cool. So, Stick with that same pressure. Yep. Stay off the. Yeah, try try to avoid these these edges right here. Okay. Yep. So we didn't do from here to basically over. So okay. you so you can hit this whole thing. Okay. And then put some more product on there. Once in a while we're gonna blow this out too, but it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's already 2.30. Alright, yeah, zig it. There we go, make sure that pad is spinning. See how it's not spinning? I think, I think you have the... I think you're not flat. Try to turn up. Put that at like 4 or something. There you go. Yep. Try to keep it a little more flat. There you go. Yeah. One thing that I do whenever I wash cars here is I always top off the tires because you know over time pressure can drop. Or it was never right. So, so 38 psi in the front, 41 in the rear. When they're cold. Push the arm. And I got this really cool Dewalt inflator. You guys haven't seen this. Check this out. So you turn it on and you set it to the desired temperature, or desired not temperature, <laughs> pressure. So it's 38 in the front. Let me show you here. So you turn it on. He uses dial. Set to 38. And it tells me I'm at I'm at 34. So you just hit play. Just like that. Did a little bit over because a little bit of a pressure will drop. I assume. When I take it off. Easy as that. So I'm gonna go around and do the rest of the tires. Jeep's looking good. There's still some parts that piss me off. Oh, there you can see it right there. See all this? You can see right there, all that is overspray. Because they touched up this panel right here. 
Yeah, it's a lot of It should be nice and clear. Like this, it's not as clear. Nice and shiny, then we have this up here. It's like glass. You can hear it too. Just after clay bar in it. But it's, it's better, it's clear. What is this? <laughs> what is that? Oh. <laughs> a little much. Right. I got a bounce. It's looking good. Carol's looking good. The Zeke's here. <laughs> Alright, we are still plugging away. I got this windshield polish or uh, sealant, kind of grilled. Not kind of, it is grilled glass sealant on Rush's windshield. I polished this, so we got rid of all that oxidation and, like, you know, the marks that the windshield wipers leave. Um, we got Rob doing his car. And yeah, I gotta take off here pretty soon, so I'm gonna start wrapping things up here. But the, the Jeep is looking a lot better. She's coming to life. Rob's Camaro's looking good. Vikings won. Hell yeah. Haney King's not happy about that. The Cayenne looks sweet. Yeah, look at this toy box. Gonna miss that C2, but that's all right. Got the GTs up here, all protected. Away from the floor. These guys need to be washed next, these Ferraris. Probably can't tell, but they are pretty dirty. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take off this glass sealant here. Stuart. <laughs> the same towel. To get it off the window. That's fine. Sweet. Look at this Cayenne, shiny. Oh, that's it. Slinging it. <laughs> I'm gonna take off. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, stay tuned for more and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.